at a BET conference, and there are many women that were there, and the president, not the only Obama speaking out about health care, I sat down with First Lady Michelle Obama at BET's fifth annual leading Women to Find Someone, and Deb, we talked about hair, and we talked about skin down there too, but we also had a revealing one-on-one -on -one conversation with her about everything from the Affordable Care Act to her precious daughter, Sasha and Malia. <laughs> First Lady Michelle Obama talking about an issue that she's passionate about, health care, namely the Affordable Care Act, the high-profile law also known as Obamacare, aiming to bring affordable health insurance to the roughly 44 million uninsured Americans. But it has not been without its critics who question whether or not this will work. How do you see that in being able to close the gap for those people who have not been given that opportunity to have quality health care. As you know, life happens. And there, there are things that happen that you cannot foresee. Uh, and those unforeseen health circumstances, unfortunately, if folks don't have insurance, it, it puts them in the poorhouse. But because of the Affordable Care Act, people now have an option. The affordability, the accessibility of it will allow the average American to get an, an insurance plan for less than $100 a month. That's the cost of a cell phone bill, a decent pair of sneakers. And for young people 26 and, and, and older, they can get a plan for less than $50 a month. Now that we passed the legislation, fought the good fight, now it's up to us to sign up and get people that we love in our lives who we know are uninsured to get them to sign up by the end of this month. You talk about young people, and I, and I heard you talking about this, because some people, when they're young, they're like, I don't need health care. That's right. I'm good. I'm good. How, wh how do you express to them the need to? And, and that's the tough, the, they're the tough audience because young people think they're invincible. They don't think that anything's going to happen to them. But as I joke with many of the young people in my life, you all are the ones who need insurance because you're out there living crazy, you know? <laughs> you know, you're the one at the club in heels at three in the morning, walking on ice, you know? I think the first interview I did with you as First Lady was for your Let's Move campaign. And there's now some actual data that is showing that childhood obesity, for the first time, is on the decline. Yeah. yeah. The goal of Let's Move has always been a generational goal, so that kids born today will grow up healthy. And what the CDC report showed is that for the first time in decades, we saw a huge decline in obesity rates among two to five-year-olds. Now, the statistics are still pretty abysmal for everyone else, so we still have a lot of work to do. But what it shows is that we are creating a new norm for what a healthy environment looks like or should look like for our kids. And as for her own kids? How are the girls? They're good. How are they? They're growing up. I know. They're getting What's big. About, well, about to drive. I know. <laughs> Are you all right She's with this? at that age? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm good with it, as long as somebody else is riding with her. <laughs> but they are good. Thank you for asking. They are growing up, and they are still the, the, the light of our lives. And I'm just so proud of how they have managed all of this with you, poise and grace and maturity. I'm very proud of them. Very proud. But the Obamas haven't done it alone, heartened by the support of so many others. And they have a lot of people praying for them. And, you know, right now, whether you, like me or the president, folks in America are praying for those two little girls. And that's one of the many reasons why they're standing up straight. So I'm grateful for the prayers. Absolutely. And I'm grateful for that time uh, with the First Lady and the whole group with, with BET. It was just a wonderful conversation about just so many different things. You can tell it felt like a real good feeling in that room. Yeah, it was.